Atoms are composed of electrons, protons, and neutrons. Perhaps the simplest is hydrogen, a case in which one electron orbits around one proton. The more protons or neutrons will allow for more electrons to orbit. In this animation, we have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen. The electrons being exchanged between the hydrogen and the oxygen form chemical bonds, creating a molecule out of the component atoms. In this particular case, we are looking at a molecule of water. Before you, you see a periodic table. The top elements are the simpler and more common. We will be focusing on hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. In the diagrams you see now, you will find green dots indicating electrons and red ones indicating empty spaces. We will be focusing on the empty spaces, as these are the ones that allow chemical bonds. For example, the atom nitrogen has three empty spaces. This would allow for three bonds to other atoms. We begin with one atom of carbon, the reason we are referred to as carbon-based life forms. To that, we will add one atom of hydrogen and observe the bond. From there, it's a simple matter of polarity for other atoms to continue forming bonds, expanding in an ever-growing matrix of atoms. Eventually, what we end up with is a full-fledged molecule with a loose area indicated by an arrow where it can attach to other molecules. This molecule is known as adenine and is one of the building blocks for human DNA. In the diagram below, you will see the previously mentioned molecule adenine, as well as thymine, cytosine, guanine. These molecules are all built in a similar manner and are the building blocks of all life as we know it. NASA researchers have found adenine and guanine in asteroids. The building blocks of life, the molecules that make up DNA, do indeed come from rocks.